Hello guys, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new, welcome. My name is Monica, and today I'm really excited to be doing an intro for a new project pan. This is the 2020 HP project pan. I did this project pan last year. This was created by Christina Chang last year. It was a really fun collab. I love Harry Potter, obviously. <laughs> And I just, ugh, I love just smushing my interests together into one melting pot of just fun. And we, I feel like we could all use a little bit of extra fun right now. <laughs> but like I mentioned before, this was created by the lovely Christina Chang, one of my good friends here on YouTube. And this is a huge collab. We've had it, we had a huge, like, um, big group chat on Instagram. So I'm going to have everyone who is also doing this project either on Instagram or on YouTube linked down below in the description box and most likely the first pinned comment. Last year, I believe we had seven prompts for this project pan. This year we're bringing it down to just four, but it is going to be a rolling project for a couple of the products. That is you know, um, optional for whatever you want to do. The, Christina left a lot of wiggle room, which I appreciate because a good part of panning is really figuring out what works best for you. And I've, from what I've learned from panning, there are definitely things that work better for me than, you know, other things. So I love that there's like that wiggle room just built in. So we've got four prompts. I have... I actually picked out five products. We'll see how that goes, but I picked out five products for those prompts. So in this intro, we're just going to go through each prompt, tell you about the product that I picked and the goals I have. This project will be running from the day this video goes up, which is going to be Mar no, March. It's not March. It's not March. <laughs> from May 13th through December 13th. So we've got a long amount of time for this project. So there might be a couple of goals that seem a bit lofty, but honestly, it's a long amount of time, so I think I'm giving myself enough time to make it work. Now, for those of you who may not have known my Hogwarts house, I should have done a green eye look, but actually today I just did a full face with my Pan That palette, so everything other than my foundation and face powder that is on my face is from my 2020 Pan That palette. And that video is going to be going up right after this one, so it should be the Friday after this goes up. So if you're not already, please make sure you are subscribed and hit the little bell icon so you're notified whenever I post a new video every Sunday, Wednesday, and Friday. So with all of that out of the way, let's jump into the first prompt. Prompt number one is House Pride. Pick a product that represents your house. If you aren't sure where you would be sorted, pick whatever one you identify with most. This product can be a house color, a similar name, or even make you feel like one of the identifying traits in your house. I am a Slytherin. I've also got my coffee cup here. Yes. <laughs> and i gotta say I, the majority of the products that i picked are green to just contrast my pan that palette which is mainly red which is what i'm wearing on my eyes right now so for the first prompt for house pride i had to pick some green products because i'm a slytherin and i decided to pick this palette from collab this is an eyeshadow palette and it is in after hours that's the name of the palette and we've got some green shades in here we also have a white shade and a black shade. So my goal for this is to hit pan in half the shades by December 13th. I think it's going to be really easy for the white and for the black shade because for the white shade I can use that just to set my eyeshadow primer and for the black shade it's what I'm mainly using in my brows recently. So I honestly think that's going to be fairly quick. The challenge is going to be in using the rest of these shades to really just do something different. Maybe bring this in with my pan that palette. Maybe just do something deeper and smokier and different than what I'm currently used to. And I currently don't have any excuse because I am working from home full time and I can do whatever crazy eyeshadow makeup look that I want because I'm working from home. <laughs> so this palette, I've heard so many great things about this formula and about this brand and I bought this and never really used it. I've used it now a couple of times, but like I need to dig into it. And so I really want to use this a lot more. Prompt number two is based on Peeves, which is only... <laughs> It's uh, something only book readers of the series are really going to know about, and I appreciate that. Like, I was actually pretty shocked. Like, I haven't reread the Harry Potter series. I've got the whole series back here. I haven't reread it in a long time, but I remember one of the big, huge things was how big of a part Peeves pay played in the books, and he's like, nowhere to be seen in the movies. But this prompt is, pick a product you initially hated but grew to love or find a crucial part of your routine. So this is going to be a bit of a challenge for me. Recently... I've actually, like, now that I've been in quarantine, I have grown to really love and appreciate loose products. And by loose products, I mean 
loose highlighters loose blushes especially loose blush i was shocked by how much i actually really liked that product so i took this opportunity to pick two loose eyeshadows because that is something i really don't reach for but i'm hoping if i have the time now to definitely like use the product spend time with it i'm hoping i will love it as much as i loved the loose highlighter and the loose blush that I used recently. And these are two green loose shadows from Geek Chic Cosmetics. This first one is called Evil Lurks, and I'm going to try not to spill this. It's a deep green, oop, there it goes, shimmer. The second one is called CU Space Cowboy. It is a Cowboy Bebop themed shadow, and this is a lighter green shimmer. Here are both of them swatched. These are honestly two gorgeous, stunning shades, but due to the fact that they're individually packaged and they're loose, I haven't reached for them. So I really want to take this time during this project and while I'm at home still, because I know for a fact I live in New Jersey, we are going to be quarantined for at least another month or two. At least. If not until the fall. So I want to take the time that I'm going to be home and expand my horizons, try different things that I'm not like most used to doing, and loose eyeshadows are definitely a part of that. So my goal for these two is to use them each 40 times by December 13th. 40 is a significant number because this is the year, 2020, that Harry turns 40. So I know Christina is going to do a couple of um, prompts or challenges for her that based on the number 40. For me, I'm actually going to keep a notebook. I have a Harry Potter themed notebook. I didn't bring it with me. I should have had it. I'll throw a picture up right here, but I have a Harry Potter notebook and I will keep track of each one of these shadows. And I want to use them each 40 times. If it's just a, a shimmer on the lid, inner corner highlight, maybe even as a crazy highlight. Who knows? I just want to use them 40 times. By December 13th. Prompt number three is Mrs. Weasley's Christmas Sweaters. Pick a product that always makes you feel good when you use it. Mm. Now for me, this is a highlighter. I love highlighters. I just, whenever I put them on, I feel fancy. I feel fun. I just, I really enjoy wearing highlighter. And I happened to pull in my last um, everyday makeup basket a highlighter that I had panned half of and I wanted to finish the other half. And it's this Fenty Kilowatt Freestyle Highlighter Duo in Lightning Dust and Fire Crystal. I finished Lightning Dust this side and I really want to finish Fire Crystal. I think I can do it. It's it's fairly easy for me to pan this kind of formula. I already have pan in it. I really want to finish this up. And this is the one product where if I finish this, I do want to roll in a new highlighter. So we'll see how far I can get on this. I think I can use it up by December, but we will have to see. And prompt number four and product number four is extendable ears. A product you bought just because you heard someone recommend it or you heard someone else mention it and recommend it. Now, this is something I really want to use because it is literally the most expensive product in my collection and I don't use it that much. This is a Natasha Denona palette and I was bought by the hype. There were a few YouTubers that I followed that hyped up Natasha Denona shadows and said that they were the be all end all. They were amazing. And while I do like Natasha Denona shadows, I did, I kind of regret buying this palette, but I have it and I'm not going to return it and I want to use it. And it's my big 28 green brown palette. Look at this behemoth. I need to get some use out of this and I thought this project would be a good way to do that. My goal for this project is just to hit pan. I want to hit pan on at least uh, I'm trying to say I'm already pretty far in my pan that palette and I've got another eyeshadow palette that I'm going to be working on so I don't want to set a, a goal that's too high but I think at least four I want to hit pan on at least four shadows here and I think this is good because I can also use it with my green shadows right here I can also use it with the palette I picked for prompt number one I, I just I feel like I can do a lot with this and maybe even bring this in with my other pan that palette but this is such an expensive palette. It's such a big palette. I need to use it more. And I, that's the first thing I thought when I saw prompt number four was just like I was 
really excited to use this because I saw a YouTuber use this and buy it and was so excited to do her own wedding makeup with it and it looked gorgeous and I needed it and I bought it with like a tax refund a couple years ago but I don't use it as much as I should for it despite the fact that it is literally the most expensive eyeshadow palette I own. So I'm gonna I'm gonna keep this in my basket. I'm going to start reaching for it more and I'm going to get my money's worth out of this. So there we have it. Those are the four prompts and the five products that I picked out for this HP Project Pan. I will be doing monthly updates right around the same time, normally right around when I post my Pan That Palette updates and my monthly makeup baskets, normally like the first week of every month expect to see this kind of update. Oop, and they're gonna start to leaf blow next door, so let me hurry up and finish this up. Like I mentioned before, the only product that I think I am going to roll out if I do finish it is the highlighter for prompt number three. So we'll see. I haven't picked out anything or have anything ready for once that one is done. I'm really gonna focus on the Fenty highlighter and then I'll actually go maybe include it in an update. We'll shop my stash and find a highlighter that I really want to focus on and pan for the rest of the project. Thank you guys so much for watching and thank you Christina for putting this whole project together. Make sure you go check out the description box for the list of everyone else participating in Instagram and here on YouTube in this project. It's just a whole lot of fun and I feel like we could all use this right now. Thank you guys for watching and I cannot wait to see you in my next video. Bye.